In my last video, you would have seen me that I have completed all of the external as well as the internal wall frames. Now that I have all of the frames constructed, the next step is to actually mount them onto the slab. I have gone ahead and drilled holes on the bottom plates of all of the walls next to the studs, and then using those holes on the wood as a guide. I went ahead and start drilling the concrete slab and putting in my dyna bolts to hold the frames in place. It was quite a tiring job drilling so many holes in the concrete slab. Next I screw the two part wall frames together and thanks to my handy grips it was quite useful to get them all done. This is definitely a two person job but um, being only me there's not much I could do. At the same time wood had actually moved and I had to re-nail and put screws in so they don't move, so the studs were separating. Now that I had most of the drilling done, I did some cleaning and making it ready for the last wall to be put in, which is the front wall. Having all three walls up, it was a good idea to go ahead and re-check, making sure that all my walls were level and had not moved since. And once we had the internal walls set inside, it was time for me to finally put in the front wall in. The internal walls will hang around inside until I have all the roof covered and it's uh, waterproof and then we work on the internal frames later on. Once I had all four walls bolted down, next all screwed together, making sure they are ready for the next stage. The next stage is putting on the top plate bracing. This will secure all the corners and all the walls together. They just screwed down on top of the top plate. Was not an easy task as some of my wood were not straight and you will see and I had to use my handy grips to adjust and bend the wood so I could get it correctly right on. So um, it was really really frustrating to work especially when wood is not straight. Gripping the wood down, then screwing it, and then moving on to the next, and then 
using the other grip to adjust and screw it and moving along and so on. And the gustly wind did not help either. And here is a quick overview of the framing standing up so far. Next were the plywood panels. I used 12 millimeter plywood panels to uh, cover the external frames. And for this job, I definitely needed some help. And thanks for my brother-in-law that was just around. And I said, well, while you're here, give me a hand. So he was quite happy to give me a hand to uh, hold them into place while I screw them up. Things didn't go as planned as always with wood. We did have some measurement issues. We keep measuring it. The frames were correct. The plywood was correct, but somehow when we had them together, they did not fit in. It was really frustrating and we had to sort of readjust and uh, put some tolerance in and make it work. And the first panel was in. And then we followed with the next panel and the other panel and so on. Took us all day, pretty much. This was becoming uh, quite an experience for me um, with tolerances and woodwork and so on and having out of place by a couple millimeters it really affects the rest of the work so if you don't get the first panel right all the rest of them won't be correct as well they'd be out of alignment so it was frustrating and we finally finished it was good effort. And a quick tour inside. And this will give you pretty much an idea of the size of my home studio. Looks a decent size. And with the issue of our electrical and data cabling, looks like we got that in quite nicely as well. So um, it fit in straight away. Pity though about cutting one of my studs. <laughs> 